Officer Tan, what were you doing in the moments leading up to the discharge of your firearm? I was in pursuit of a suspect. Ryan and I were following... Officer Doheny. Officer Doheny and I were following a suspect through the hall when he turned the corner. Which corner? How are you feeling? Oh, no. I think it was the west end of the hall. You think? Well, which end was it, Officer Tan? Stay with me. Stay with me. How did this happen? It was the west end of the hall. And then what? The suspect turned the corner, and I pulled out my firearm. This can go downhill fast, and if you're not careful, we'll both go down with it. Now, was that before or after you turned the corner? Before. So you can definitively say that you pulled your firearm before you turned the corner? Just tell him what happened. I'll figure it out. You can pay for what you did to him! You ain't getting your kid. And when did you call for the suspect to stop? You sure you know what you're doing? The department is going to conduct an official review. You have to turn yourself in. Ryan was the one that called. Officer Doheny. Officer Doheny called out for the suspect after he turned the corner. I think I did this on purpose. That's not what I said. You heard what they're saying about us? You pulled your firearm before calling for the suspect to stop? No, I don't think so. How does the defendant plead? I love you. I don't want you going to jail. You're just hanging them out to dry. They don't want to be looking over your shoulder wherever you go. What's going on? So you have no idea which side of the hallway you were on, when you pulled your firearm, or when you called for the suspect to stop. You can't expect them to know you like I do. Do you have any idea how a mother feels to lose a son?